Hello, and welcome to what's bubbling a Zim. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at uh, the new way to load assets with an asset ID, if, if you prefer that way, and also an update to the gesture where we're applying boundaries and indeed circular boundaries. So let's have a look. Uh, we'll go into some code. So here we are in Zim 7.1.0, which is about to launch, probably launch by the time you see this. And we're taking a look at the circular bounds. So if I scroll on down, uh, one of the things we'll see first is a load assets with an asset object, right like that. So we're specifying an idea ball and a source of ball.png and a path of assets. If you wanted to, this path could be right on the asset, then you wouldn't need to have the path and that would also work fine. Now in the past, we had just presented this. And this also still works, so we're saying ball.png in assets, but then when we use frame.asset below, we would put ball.png there. So there we go. This is how we've traditionally been doing it because it's shorter, but one drawback is you have to put the file name on the end, uh, or the file extension on the end there of the ball. So uh, sometimes we don't want to do that if the, if the ball extension or the file name changes, then we'd have to hunt through our code and find out where it changed here. So this is uh, a little bit more abstraction uh, to be careful there, where you can specify an ID that will never change, uh, but your, your URL may change there. Okay, so that's one thing. Let's take a look and see what this looks like. So we save this and open it in the browser. There's the ball. Now we have a gesture on that, which means that we can pinch and make this bigger. And you can see that, that the bounds are also set to be the bounds of the, of the stage. So we're rotating and the bounds are still working. Uh, that was new, or this is new now to 7.1. Um, another new thing is the boundary object itself. Uh, right there. So Zim now has a boundary object instead of using a create.js dot rectangle, which is a data rectangle. Now that was sometimes confusing to have both a create.js rectangle and a Zim rectangle, for, especially for people who are new coming in and not knowing quite what the difference is. A Zim rectangle is, is one of the shapes, like triangle and circle, that is a display object, whereas a create.js rectangle was a rectangle that just basically held x, y width and height of a rectangle. It also had some other things you could do with that rectangle. That's still available as create.js.rectangle if you need to do those other things. But usually we were using that rectangle just to specify the boundaries of um, a drag or of a gesture here. So now we've renamed that to, uh, well we've created a new class called boundary that's stored in the uh, code module of Zim, a new class called boundary where we just pass in x, y, width, and height. Now, uh, gesture uh, received that boundary, and gesture is a little bit different than drag in that gesture automatically takes into account the shape because we're we're often scaling the shape and rotating the shape, and uh, if you just use the registration point for the bounds, that doesn't work very well because your your object may be bigger now. And if you're if you had your bounds initially set for a registration point based on the width, now that's all messed up because the the object is bigger. So we dynamically reset uh, those bounds so that it works. But the problem is this: if we don't have uh, what we just added the circular bounds, true. Let's um, take that out. Uh, currently, or in the previous versions, here's what it looked like. It worked great at the beginning, but if we pinch and rotate this, then you can see that the bounds are off. I can't go any further than this because the the bounding box, the the um, rectangle around this is, is on a 45 degree angle, roughly. Uh, you see what I mean? So that, that means the rectangle is hitting. 
So uh, that works for rectangular shapes, but not very well for anything circular. Now a circle itself, um, oh yeah, even a circle itself has a, a square rectangle around it. So what we've done is we've added a way to accommodate circular shapes, and that is a circular bounds parameter to gesture. And we've set that to true, and now what it does is it uses it uses the, um, the original sort of width and height uh, to calculate uh, a radius around the registration point. So one important thing is you still need to center reg that rectangular shape. Presumably that rectangular shape is a square uh, or close to a square and then you'll get the most advantage. Uh, if you don't center reg it though, here's what it would look like. So if it seems like it's really broken to you, um, so, oh, that's already uh, not working. Yeah, so it's not center regged, and, and look, where our bounds are off. I, I'm going off the stage, and I can't go up any higher than that. So, um, with the circular bounds true, you need to center reg your object. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. And we refresh here, and now we're back to working. So that is, uh, that's quite cool and it was quite complicated <laughs> to do that. Uh, you can take a look at the gesture code to see what I mean. It was like, oh no, that didn't work. And I have to dig in there and uh, make those adjustments. So the adjustments are made. So that's two different things. One is passing in an ID. Now, by the way, if you have more than one asset, you're welcome to put this into an array. Um, so, uh, oops, and you could have more than one asset in here, including various other types of assets like a font asset or, a, um, well, obviously sound, sounds would work the same way, but you could even drop back to doing a URL for a sound and not using uh, an asset object, but you should probably be consistent and for traditional uh, images and sounds just use uh, the same thing, either use the URL with the extension or use the asset object in each case. Okay, so I guess that's it for this bubbling. I am Inventor Dan Zen. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim and have a great night. Ciao.